Question number three. So this question is derived from the topic four. Statistic and probability of your curriculum. And specifically, it is based on topic 4.6, combined probability. So question A, so we need to find the P, A, union B. So means we have to use the uh, formula P, A plus P, B minus P, A intersect B. Okay, so from the question, we already know that P, A value is 0 0.7. P B value is 0 0.75. P of A intersect B is 0 0.55. Then we can say that probability of A union B is same as 0 0.9. Okay. Then question B, uh, hence or otherwise, we need to find the probability that A complementary intersect with the B complementary. So let's try to write or the draw out a band diagram for this information. So let's say we have a event A, event B in our sample space U. Okay. Then we have B and A, we have sample space U. Then complementary of the event A is same as this red part everything outside of the event A. Then the complementary event of the event B is this green part, everything outside of the B. Okay. Then you can see that the only the overlapping parts are the outside of the event A and event B. So means we can say that probability of a complementary intersect with the B complementary is same as probability of A union B complementary, right? Then we know that uh, this is same as 1 minus P of A union B. So we can say 1 minus P of A union B is 0 0.9 from the question A. So the answer is 0 0.1. Question number four, this is the question derived from the topic one, section 1.2, arithmetic sequence. Okay, then as a just summary of the knowledge from that section, we know that uh, to find the term, we have to use the un equals u1 plus n minus one times d, Right, to find the sum of the sum of cert, of the certain term, we have to use n over two, two u one plus n minus one times d, or we can use n over two, u one plus u n to find the sum of these uh, certain terms, and the d refers to the common difference, and it is same as u n minus u n minus one, right? Then, question number four, the sum of the first n terms of the an arithmetic sequence is given by Sn equals Pn squared minus Qn, where P and Q are positive constants. It is given that S5 is equal to 65, S6 is equal to 96. Question A, we need to find the value of the P and value of the Q. Okay. Then, from, th from the question, we know that the sum is using this formula Sn equals Pn squared minus Qn to calculate the values of S5, S65, S, S6, S96. Then using this information, we can write these informations as follows. So S5 equals P5 squared minus Q times 5. And S6 is same as P6 squared minus Q times 6. So what I did is we know that the n value is 5, so I just substituted 5 as n, and also uh, I substitute 6 as n, and I got two equations. Okay. Since we have two equations, we can solve for the two unknown uh, variables. 
So when we simplify the first equations, this is same as 65 equals 25p minus 5q. Uh, second equation is same as 96 equals 36p minus 6q. Then uh, if we simplify these two equations by 5 and 6, we get uh, 5p minus q equals to 65. We get 6p minus q equals to 60. Then we know that if we rearrange this equation as q equals to 5p minus 13, we can substitute this into this equation instead of q. Then we get 6p minus 5p minus 13 equals 16. Then 6p minus 5p plus 13 is equal to 16. Then p value is same as 16 minus 13, which is 3. Then now, we since we know that the p value is equal to 3, we can substitute this back into this first equation. Then we know that q is equal to 5 times 3 minus 13, which is equal to 2. So we have found out that the q value is equal to 2, p value is equal to 3. Then question B, we need to find the value of the u6, right? u6, then we know that s5 value from the question is 65, s6 value is same as 96, and we know that S5 is same as U1 plus U2 plus U3 plus U4 plus U5. And S6 is same as U1 plus U2 plus U3 plus U4 plus U5 plus U6. That means if we subtract this part from the S6 value, we can calculate the U6, right? So we can say... Since S6 is same as S5 plus U6, we can say 96 is equal to 65 plus U6. U6 is same as 96 minus 65, which is equals to 31. So we can calculate that U6 is same as 31.